Good morning, Greater Lake Trove. From the WCATV studio, I'm Molly Cunningham alongside Abby Poole, and these are your morning announcements. A reminder for all seniors to check the guidance webpage for scholarship opportunities. The Rotary Club of Lake Trove will award two $1,000 scholarships to students residing in Greater Lake Trove or Dairy Area School District. The selection criteria will be based on not only academic excellence, but also the students' involvement in schools, religious, and community organizations. An emphasis is placed on service and leadership. Interested sh students should download an application on the Senior High Guidance webpage. Applications must be turned in to the 11-12 office to Ms. Hager by Wednesday, March 14th to allow time for processing. A reminder to students that Monday, February 19th is a snow makeup day and school will be in session. The McGee Women's Research Institute 2018 Summer Internship Program for high school students is being offered to current high school juniors and seniors. This program provides current high school seniors and juniors with the opportunity to participate in basic science or clinical research projects with the goal of interesting students in biomedical research as a potential career. Please see Mr. Princeton in the 1112 office for more information. Attention all juniors. All Sarah's candy orders are due to Ms. Fedor in C210 by the end of the day Tuesday. Please make every effort to sell at least one item. The fundraiser goes towards raising money for your senior prom in graduation. If you need a new form, you can stop by the 1112 office or see Ms. Fedor. Pie Day is only a few weeks away. You can order your Pie Day t-shirt for just $6. The color options are gray or lilac. Please see your math teacher to place your order. It's the time of year where the elementary schools are looking to go to sixth grade camp counselors. Here is reporter Sydney Rogers with the details. To all juniors and seniors, if you would like to go back to sixth grade camp but this time as a counselor, applications are available in the 1112 office. Counselors are needed to be general group counselors, certified lifeguards, art, fishing, and rifle and archery. A hunter safety course is required for this area. If you are interested in being a counselor, do not delay in turning in your applications as spots will fill fast. The deadline to apply is Wednesday, February 28th. The Keystone Girls State, a program of the American Legion Auxiliary, is looking for the future leaders of tomorrow. This program is open to all females who have completed their junior year of high school. Please stop by the 1112 student waiting area for more information. Today is the final day of Polapalooza registration for students in grades 9 through 12. Registrations will take place in Mr. Marker's room, H107. Remember, all forms must be turned in at the same time. You must pre-register for the event. We now go to Alex Bizignani with the sports report. Thanks, Abby, and welcome to the Wildcats sports report. The boys basketball team enters round one of the Whippeal playoffs this weekend. Tomorrow at 1.30, they take on Butler at Fox Chapel. That's all for your Wildcats sports report. We'll be back after this commercial break. Go wild for the Greater Lake Trail Wildcats basketball team playoff runs. Be there on Saturday, February 17th at 1.30 p.m. at Fox Chapel Area High School as the boys basketball team takes on the Butler Golden Tornadoes. On Tuesday, February 20th, the girls basketball team heads over to Plum High School at 6.30 p.m. as they take on the Shaler Area Titans. Show your Wildcat pride and be all in and support these remarkable teams. Be there. Are you interested in STEM for your future? Or do you like to build things? Then schedule Young Engineers. The highlights include an ethics class, a career fair, 3D design, and rocketry. Open to all juniors and seniors, taught by Mrs. Pompalia and Mr. Glamp during your last period. about the course is that it's all hands-on work. I'm the kind of guy that doesn't like to write a whole bunch of stuff down. I'd rather see it, be on it, and watch the final result, which is one of the best parts about scheduling broadcast. All right, my favorite thing about broadcasting class is probably all the different, like the variety of projects that we get to do. 
and I think you should take the class because it's a really good opportunity for you to show how creative you are. What I like the best about broadcasting is probably how we get to use our imagination and creativity in our own videos and you can make them fun. Um, my favorite thing about this class is the freedom that we have and the fact that we get to work with different people each time. You should take the class because it's fun, you have to have a good time, meet a new teacher that you probably wouldn't have on a regular basis and just make fun films. I think you should take this class because even if you're thinking about careers, what you should do, what you shouldn't take, maybe you'll like it and you're never going to know if you don't try it. It's a hands-on class and I think you'd really enjoy it. Student Council is looking to purchase used Wii gaming consoles that are in good working condition for Polar Palooza. Please see Mrs. Hauk or Mr. Marker if you are interested in selling your Wii. If you are a senior who attended Bagley Elementary School and are interested in returning to share your future plans after graduation as a part of their Rock and Read event on Friday, March 2nd, please see Mrs. Albright in the 910 office for more details and to sign up. Now here's Matt Davis with the weather report. Thanks and good morning, Latrobe. Today will bring rain with a high of 48 and a low of 18. Saturday will also bring rain with a high of 41 and a low of 30. And Sunday will be partly cloudy with a high of 45 and a low of 37. That's all for weather. Back to you guys. Attention seniors who are planning to attend St. Vincent College in the fall. Two new scholarships exclusive to GLSD students are now available. Please be sure to check the guidance webpage for more details. There will be an informational preview of opportunities at Shippensburg for students, teachers, and parents on Sunday, February 18th at the Oakmont Theater in Oakmont, PA. Please stop by the 1112 student waiting area for more information. Do you know of a young lady in need of prom attire? Please visit www.angelasangels.org for more information or please stop by the 1112 student waiting area for more information. There's a temporary change to after-school library hours. The library will be open after school on Wednesday, February 21st and Thursday, February 22nd. The library will not be open after school on Tuesday, February 20th. Remember to sign up on Ms. Rebel's website if you wish to stay after. Reporting for WCAT-TV, this has been Abby Poole and Molly Cunningham. Thanks for watching and have a great day.